Hi everybody, my name is Cindy and I am an energetic stepping and wholeness counselor. And um, I am back again with making videos. And this time it is Eva Gardner who would like to come back. Uh, she told me that she would like to, uh, to do another video and um, tell a little bit more about her personal life. Okay, enjoy. Hello, it is me again, Eva Gardner. I have asked this kid to do another video. A video about my own life. And I would like to start with what I wanted to do in life and it has nothing to do with the movie industry, not at all. What I wanted to do was become a mother, have my own family. I wanted to cook for my husband when he would come home. I would prepare his dinner, I would take care of the kids, I would look after the house. That is what I wanted to do in life. I know that Marilyn asked in one of her videos who wants to be at home in the kitchen, well, I was one of those women who wanted to be in the kitchen. I wanted to take care of my family. Unfortunately, I did not have any children in my life, as you know, when I was Eva Gardner. The reason was that I had a strong belief that when you put a child into the world, you will need to have a healthy parents. And with healthy, I mean a healthy mindset. The mental well-being. I was not in such a state, nor was my husband. When it comes to my husband, I have been married three times. The first time was when I was 19. This man introduced me to alcohol and I became an alcoholic. Well, it was of course my own I approved to become an alcoholic. He did not force me, but I went along. That is what I've been doing all the time in my life. I went along, I never gave up. If you would do something to me, I will give it back to you. It did not bother me at all. I would play along and I would make sure 
that you had your payback. It was one of the ways that gave me pleasure. I enjoyed it actually also quite often. But looking back at it, it was not satisfying at all. The older I became, the more I alone I became. At the end I had no one. I also died alone. Being lonely. So the first husband, he introduced me into the alcohol. Second husband, he was intelligent, yes, very charming. I fell for him because he was smart, but he would let me feel that I was not smart as he was. I felt that I was not intelligent enough. I was already insecure and he just fed it this lack of self-confidence that I had. He let me t read books. Oh, actually I approved that I would be reading these books. I let it happen. I read them in the hope that he would approve of me. Which is a ridiculous thing to do, ladies. You are not here to receive an approval from men. You are here to be happy with a man. And also the other way around. Men can be unhappy with a woman, seeking for her approval, but you are also not there for her, you are here for yourself. And it's the case for everybody. Now with the third husband, the alcohol was playing a big role. played a big role, but also the emotional abuse was still there. We had a lot of fun. We loved to be together, but we had times as well that we could not stand each other. It was a hate-love relationship. It was toxic. It was destroying myself, but also my husband. But we had this view, this understanding of love that it needs to be in a toxic way. After we got divorced, I've met a few other men, one who was actually beating me up, physical abuse. It does not matter what the profession is of each of those men I have met, dated, married. Because that is an image that we have created. An actor should not behave like this. A musician should not behave like this. 
So we are displaying something else to the outside world. And when it comes to light, what really happened, people are shocked. And the reason why people are shocked, because you have a certain image of how a person needs to be when it holds a certain profession. Try to look at the person itself, regardless of the function, the job title, where this person works. When you would have paid attention to my experiences with my husbands, the abuse was there. It started with alcohol, became emotional abuse, alcohol, emotional abuse combined in one person, physical abuse. I encountered those men, not because I was a tough woman, I was a tough woman indeed, I was one, but when it came to relationships, I encountered those men because there was something inside of myself that did allow their behavior. I allowed the abuse to happen. I approved in some way the abuse. The abuse became worse the older that I became. Not because life wants to give me such a hard time, it was me not learning to take care of myself. And that is exactly what your soul does when you are not listening, it creates more difficult situations for you to experience and to say to you, wake up, you're sleeping, something is not adding up here. You have not learned it from the last person. Let's meet somebody else. Maybe that will change your mind. Life is not here to give you or to let you experience a harsh time. It is here for you to have a beautiful time to have a happy life. So before I close, I would like to ask you and give you some homework. Look in your own life. Look within yourself. What is it that you let happen? What is it that you are approving of while you know damn well that it should not be like this at all, but you are still continuing doing it, being there, being in that situation. And I'm not speaking only to women, I'm also speaking to the men. Everybody deserves to have a good life, a happy life. Time has changed. It is time now for you to take care of yourself. I really want to smoke, but I have to do it with a fake one. 
So this is what I want to share with you. It's not exciting at all, is it? That I actually wanted to become a mother, have my own family and cook for my husband. That is what I wanted to do. That is what my heart desired, but I did not listen. I disregarded it. Now I've got one more thing to say, and actually to share. There will be another friend coming through this kid, a friend of mine, a friend of Marilyn. I always believe she's younger than I am, but we were actually of the same age. It's because she was shorter. She is shorter. Just tiny. And I know her because she was attracted to all the men that I married to. You will have a lot of fun with her, I'm sure. Now think of your homework, kiddos. Take care of yourself. Look what you have right now in your life. Within yourselves, what does not serve you? What is it that you will need to address? And when you are not able to find the guidance that you need, look for somebody who can. Look for somebody who can help you with this. Helping yourself is also helping somebody else. Free up your mind. Well, it's time for me to go. I hope you... My video was helpful, that you have learned something. It's not maybe that exciting as you might have expected. Me standing there in the kitchen, preparing potatoes carrots and a piece of meat. Take care.